Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, JCC2224 is celebrating that he finally got this figure, so he's drinking a pop. And uh, today I have, um, as already guessed by the title, Malgus, and I, I, I don't, it's hard to believe that I actually have this. It is certainly an amazing figure, and I think you should probably, no matter what, Spend a good 20 bucks on him if you can. Um, his price is actually going down. I remember it was around, um, like 30 to 50 before on the secondary market. Now it's going down to about, um, 15 to 25. And, um, lucky me, I actually found this on rebelscum.com for $10. I was in a state of shock when I saw that. I was, whoa. But anyway, before we get on to this masterpiece of a figure, let's get on to the uh, packaging, and I will raise the camera so you can see all the glory. Um, there you can see a really nice image of Malgus. Awful sticker, um, for an awful mail away. <laughs> um, it's made a universe logo, unpunched. I got it unpunched and carded. It was so hard for me to open it, but I did. Um, you can see I took off the entire bubble. Now my hair is getting in my face. Um, and all the other figures from the wave. I am only missing Anakin, though. Lucky me. Um, and the awful Phantom Menace wave. And some of the cool deleted scenes wave. I'll be getting the entire deleted scenes wave. Um, I already have every single figure from it except Leia. And I should be getting her here, her here soon. Um, and the same vehicle they've been advertising for like four or five waves now. So, that's Malgus. Malgus's card. <laughs> and, um, now before we get onto the figure, I know, more delay. Um, showing you his accessories. First, he does have his uh, unlit lightsaber, um, which is uh, nicely done. I like the black designs, and as usual, you can't tell what color it's molded in. So, and the silver is probably going to wear off, so you're probably not going to want to put it in his hand that much. If you're lucky to even get this guy. Um, then, he has his regular lightsaber, which you will get a peek of Malgus's hand. Um, it really doesn't have much of that kind of saber definition we're getting with a lot of figures now. Um, I don't really have a lightsaber. Oh, I do. I have a Bespin Luke here. Um, you can see his lightsaber kind of has more of that glimmer near the um, beginning of the, you know, blade. While Malgus's saber really kind of doesn't. Even though you can see a little in between the little pikes there. So, you've been deceived. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, that was just something I just knew was not necessary, but I had to do it. Um, I, I paused there because I just noticed a Darth Vader lightsaber that I thought was missing for who knows how long. But anyway, um, he also has his Sith cloak, which I dawn upon him to make him look epic. Now, um, the hood really doesn't want to sit that nicely, um, right now it's kind of looking wonky and he's looking like a witch or something, but you can see how it doesn't sit too nicely, but if you actually hold it down, it looks wonderful, only if it would do that on its own. Wonderful. So, um, the extra kind of cloak thing, moving the figure aside again. You can see this is a soft, kind of normal fabric you get with a uh, with the black um, colored robes and such. He also has a wire on his hood, so you can wrap it around his neck. Even though it really doesn't do much, I would prefer if one actually if it actually would have gone under like the actual cloak itself. Now the actual cloak itself is removable. If you remove his head, then remove his chest panel, and you can remove his cape. But I will not do that for the review. Um, now this figure, wow. Um, 
there is so much epicness with the figure. I'm already five minutes into the review, and I haven't even gotten this guy. Wow. Um, certainly one of the best figures, one of the best new figures from the vintage collection. And I will take a sip of my pop. But anyway, um, he doesn't have really good articulation. When I was looking at the pictures, I was worried his articulation would be rather stiff. Like, um, you know, especially considering how thick his limbs are, I thought his articulation would be pretty stiff, and you wouldn't be able to get him into epic poses, but, see, you can. Um, one piece of articulation I'm not pleased with, though, is the swivel legs. I would have preferred if, preferred if they would have done something similar to Ala Sakura, and given him, um, ball-jointed hips, so he can, um, have a little more po posability there. But, um... If you would have lightning, you can see how you can get him in some, you would be able to get him in some cool poses with lightning. Wish he would have come with like a little strand, but he didn't. Um, his full articulation is a ball jointed neck, a ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinged ankles. Premium articulation for a normal vintage collection figure. Um, taking a closer look at the detail of this guy. Oh my god, camera's getting good focus today. Um, you can see some really nice silver details on his, uh, little breath mask, as well as some red detailing on it. Um, he has the, uh, dark gray under his eyes, and a little kind of, you know, the veins on his forehead there. I really do like how the ball joint works with the head. I wish it would go up a little more, but it doesn't. Uh, the detailing on the um, entire bodysuit, or not the entire bodysuit, mainly the chest part, is really nice. Get some weathered silver on his shoulder pads. Get a little red detailing right there, and various silver. Also, you get um really nice kind of abdomen with the figure. The belt is, re is very nicely detailed, and instead of having the uh, peg, usually where it goes on there, um, you have to kind of turn the figure around and you can see right there there's a peg hole for you to store the hilt like that um, very nice detailing on the legs as well I really like how um, the silver is executed and how the little brims on the um, thigh detailing is done now the arms, in my opinion, are some of the best parts. You get really nice various silver details, as well as various more silver details, and really nice molding all throughout the figure. Now I hope I didn't make you, you know, die because of how much you want this thing, or make you get bored because of how much you don't. Um, I don't see why a lot of people, even people that are not fans of EU, um, would not want this. I, myself, am actually not a big fan of the Expanded Universe. I'm only trying to get every single Vintage Collection figure just to get every single figure. Um, but this guy was an exception. I really, really wanted this guy. And I cannot wait for, um, the Republic Trooper so he can cut him up. And, um, with the Vizsla Bounty Hunter, um, woman, um... Her head sculpt looks kind of awful, but um, I'll just have her with the helmet and have her kind of flanking Malgus here. So, that's really it with the review. Certainly a figure you need to get. You need to get this figure if you see him anywhere for $20 or less. I don't think it's necessarily a $30 figure, but I... Uh, if I were you, I'd probably go that, that high and that's it. 40 bucks is not worth it for any figure, really. So, that's really it. Have a good day. May the Force be with you. So, isn't EU so rich with originality, boys? I was deceived.